I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. The MAGA Republicans have an independent problem and a big one. That's right. People who identify politically as independents or people who are not affiliated with any political party are looking at the modern day Republican Party, which has become the MAGA Republican Party, and looking at the extremism, the radical nature, the support of insurrectionists and other domestic terrorists. They're looking at the weirdness where MAGA Republicans talk about Mr. Potato Head and the green M&M and Dr. Seuss and stoves and windmills and bathrooms and pronouns and talk about this woke this and woke that but can't even define what the word woke means. And of course, they're very weird and bizarre and dangerous cult behavior, both in terms of embracing the death cult QAnon and embracing the cult of Donald Trump. The political party has become a cult. And so I want to show you this video, though, where MAGA Republican Andy Biggs, he goes on C-SPAN and a bunch of independents call in and have some question for Andy Biggs, which is, why are the Republicans traitors? Play the clip. And yet, yeah, uh, Trump wants to pardon the traitors. That that been convicted of con uh, seditious conspiracy? Come on, what the hell's wrong with you, Republicans? Oh, Congressman. Yeah, well, I appreciate the call, and I'm not sure I understand what you're what you're saying, but but I I I think you're talking about um, the former president saying that if he gets elected, that he would he would issue some pardons or clemency uh, to some of the people that were arrested and prosecuted on January 6th. Not all were convicted of seditious treason. In fact, none were. And so that's important to understand. Uh, the second thing I would say is many of them were convicted of misdemeanor trespass. And I think that's important to understand as well. So I uh, appreciate the call. David, Ashland, Mississippi, independent. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Biggs. Uh, do you think those that uh, conspired in the White House to uh, overthrow the country with Donald Trump and Jeffrey Clark and all that should be held accountable? And uh, exactly why did you ask for a pardon from Mark Meadows? Um, a, I didn't ask for a pardon. That's been completely debunked. Um, but uh, you know, lies persist. So that's a that's going to happen, and I'm I'm big enough to to withstand the perpetual lie in that way. And the second thing is, um, uh, there's been no indication that that anybody attempted to overthrow the government with somebody named Jeff Clark, who whom I don't believe I've ever even met. So uh, you know, thanks thanks for the. Thanks for the uh, perpetuation of the uh, false narrative of the left. Congressman USA Today had this headline uh, back in November of 2022 that Stuart Rhodes, the Oath Keepers founder, was found guilty of seditious conspiracy. Oh, OK. Yeah, well, I didn't follow that case. OK. And here's the thing about these MAGA Republicans also, right? They're cowardly. They're not just traitors. They're cowardly. I mean, Andy Biggs should be aware. He's aware of the fact that the Oath Keepers were convicted of seditious conspiracy, not once, but twice. Andy Biggs is aware that he sought a pardon and numerous other of his colleagues sought a pardon from Donald Trump. And there's very credible evidence from people within the White House who were aware of those uh, communications. Andy Biggs is aware of who Jeff Clark is. We're all aware of who Jeff Clark is, the Department of Justice uh, MAGA plant who tried to take over the DOJ for Donald Trump to send out a memo to the states to try to overturn the results of uh, the 2020 election and told states that they needed to change their results in favor of Donald Trump. And fortunately, all of the United States attorneys and the acting leadership of the DOJ said there would be mass resignations if they let Jeff Clark take over as the acting attorney general. But Andy Biggs is familiar with that. 
you know, they're fascist, but they don't even own their fascism, which makes it extra cowardly. And I'll, I'll give you one other ex example right now, though. So when Donald Trump posted on Friday on his social media platform a call for, quote, death and destruction towards the Manhattan District Attorney and the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, and then thereafter, the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg received death threats, uh, including a letter saying, Alvin, I'm going to kill you with a suspicious white substance contained in the letter. And after numerous Russian troll farms called in bomb threats to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office and to various courts in Manhattan, Jim Jordan was confronted by a reporter about Donald Trump's posts. And here's what the reporter, Sahil Kupar, says. Asked Representative Jim Jordan, MAGA Republican, what he makes of Trump's warning about, quote, potential death and destruction if indicted. Jim Jordan said he hasn't seen Trump's post. When I showed it to him on my phone, he said he can't read well without his glasses. He added he's reviewing D.A. Bragg's letter. So even when shown the message, they refuse to look at it. They're that cowardly. And at the bottom line is if you're part of the cult of Donald Trump, you just embrace it. Just say that's what you are. What is this weird cowardly traitorousness that you can't even uh, address the things that you then try to initiate into these disgusting fascist policies? But as part of this independent problem, I would say it's a uh, n not just a problem, it's existential for the MAGA Republicans and for good reason. We see a lot of people reaching out to Midas Touch to share their personal stories about leaving the Republican Party and what got them to leave uh, the Republican Party. And now let's take a quick break to talk about our next partner, Lomi. Now, I've never been able to compost before. It was always too complicated, too much work, and frankly, I don't think I even knew exactly if I was doing it right. Then I got a Lomi. Lomi allows me to turn my food scraps into dirt with just the push of a button. Lomi is a countertop electric composter that turns scraps to dirt in under four hours. There's no smell when it runs, and it's really quiet. Thanks to Lomi, I have way less garbage each week. My family, we're down from three bags per week to just one. And here's something pretty cool. My wife, she recently started gardening and we've been able to use the dirt that Lomi produces to help fill the garden. And since I got my Lomi, I throw out way less garbage. That means it's not going to landfills and producing methane. Instead, I turn my waste into nutrient rich dirt that I can feed to my plants. I feel so great knowing that I'm composting and creating soil instead of waste. And I have basically a limitless supply of dirt for my garden. The other week I had my in-laws over for dinner and the food cleanup process was such a breeze. Plus they all think I'm super eco-conscious now. If you wanna start making a positive environmental impact or just make cleanup after dinner that much easier, Lomi is perfect for you. Head to Lomi.com slash Midas and use the promo code Midas to get $50 off your Lomi. That's $50 off when you head to Lomi.com slash Midas and use promo code Midas at checkout. Food waste is gross. Let Lomi save you a cold trip out to the garbage can. And now back to the video. There is indeed a mass exodus taking place of people saying this Republican party is way too extreme. They're not even focused on any issues. I want a party that focuses on jobs and education, improving working conditions, making healthcare affordable and accessible, focused on education, focused on our veterans, focused on our seniors, focused on our students, focused on making sure a woman's right to control her own body is protected, focused on equality. These are the issues we want our government to be focused on, not MAGA Republicans talking about woke this, woke that, pronouns this, pronouns that, Mr. Potato Head this, Mr. Potato what in the world is that? Let me read for you some of the posts we got here at the Midas Touch Network regarding this mass exodus of people away from the Republican Party. Um, I was a moderate Republican. This comes from I care more than, you know, a commenter. I was a moderate Republican until my daughter went to college and I paid attention to Obama. I haven't looked back and call myself an independent, but I lean left. I will be a lot more to the left going forward since eggs cost $5 and our health insurance premiums more than doubled and benefits were cut. We are working class, quickly falling into poverty. Keep up the good work, Midas Touch. Dire Needs writes, I registered as a Republican when Reagan was in office. I 
went on to vote for George Bush when Reagan's term ended. After that, I voted for whoever I thought was right for the job. I never voted for Trump because I saw him as a game show host and couldn't figure out why anyone would vote for a guy who never held any elected position and didn't know anything about being president. I have seen the Republican Party turn into something horribly unrecognizable and don't really consider it to be Republican anymore. It's MAGA and it's not making America great. Pamela Wright writes, my 90 year old mother was a Republican all her adult life until Trump became the president candidate. She was horrified and left the party to become independent and she voted for Hillary. Later, she voted for Biden. She was frightened that Trump would get us in a war and she often worried, as she said, he is is crazy. This is Brian LaFleur. I have always voted for Republicans since I could vote. I'm now 60. I believe my first presidential vote was for former President Ronald Reagan. I voted for former Donald for former Donald Trump twice, unfortunately. After Attorney General Bill Barr stated that there was no voter fraud and then resigned, I knew I was deceived and I couldn't believe it. The 2020, the 2022 midterm is the first time in my voting history that I voted a full Democratic ticket and was proud to do so. Great video. God bless. My faves writes, I live in a very blue area. My parents are Republican and my first vote went to Reagan. Over the years, I watched the news regularly, thinking I was staying on top of current events and continued voting blue. In my mind, everyone in D.C. was insane because all they did was fight each other. The news shows became shouting matches. I tuned them out. It wasn't until the pandemic hit and I started watching the Daily Task Force broadcast that I thought I was living in the twilight zone, that I started learning what was really going on. Watching you and a few others has opened opened my eyes, and now I am much more informed. I formally switched to Democrat and voted one in the 2022 election. Thank you for not shouting. Finally, excellent video. I was a lifelong Republican until the Tea Party and then was mortified when Trump was elected. As you said, he is a crook and a grifter. Thank you for putting the current craziness into larger context. Listening to Bush on immigration helped me remember why I voted Republican back then. No resemblance to what the Republican cult stands for today. Thanks so much for your insights and commentary. And that comment, just so you know, related to George H.W. Bush in a debate in the 80s with Ronald Reagan and others, where their view of immigration was one of a comprehensive immigration reform and not specifically not to demonize immigrants. That's what that comment is referring to. Finally, I want to play you this video clip this is of Andy Biggs. You know how Andy Biggs made his career? He kind of randomly and under somewhat suspicious circumstances, or I guess we can say curious circumstances, was the winner of the Publishing Clearinghouse $10 million check. Y'all remember Publishing Clearinghouse with the magazine and you know they deliver the big checks. And anyway, the way Andy Biggs made his money was as a publishing clearinghouse winner. And even that raises a lot of questions. But here, watch this clip of Andy Biggs uh, back when he won this money from publishers clearinghouse. Oh yes, more $10 million winners than $2 million winners. Here's our latest $10 million winner, Andy Biggs. Congratulations, are you glad you had it? You bet, it's unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, watch your mail for the envelope with my picture. I'll announce the $10 million number before you know it. Don't miss out. Enter now. So you have Andy Biggs who made money somehow from the publishing clearinghouse uh, lottery. And he's the one basically now saying to American people, oh, you need to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. And, you know, we don't care about people who are going through hardships here at the Republican Party. We just care about the billionaires, these, you know, the hardworking billionaires who get publisher and clearinghouse checks. Completely and utterly absurd. But look, folks, these are positive signs. These are important signs. Um, and we need to make sure that we continue to have outreach to independent Independence to people not affiliated with political parties and to Republicans who want to leave and let them know this pro-democracy community, we love our country. We love our constitution. We do. And it's not just through performative words or holding up the constitution. It's actually by our conduct each and every day and working to achieve the values uh, that our country is supposed to stand for. 
I'm Ben Micellis for the from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We are marching to 1 million subscribers in the month of March. We're almost there. Hit subscribe if you can. Also, check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Midas Touch. Since we're not funded by any outside investors, one of the way we fund our operations is through Patreon and you becoming a member there. So check us out there. Also, uh, if you can, wherever you get your audio podcast, just search uh, Midas Touch Podcast and download the audio. Until next time, I'm Ben Micellis. Love this video? Then you'll love the Midas Touch Podcast. Listen as my brothers and I break down the latest news and chat with top political leaders on the fastest growing pro-democracy podcast in the world. New episodes drop every Tuesday and Friday. Add the Midas Touch Podcast right now wherever you listen to your podcasts.